And here's the deal. If you're eating too much sugar, it's not just, we know this about obesity. Yes, it puts you at increased risk for things like diabetes and heart disease, but let's talk about some of these surprising health consequences of too much sugar. It boosts inflammation, I increased know, risk yeah. of getting sick, just the common cold or flu because too much sugar. Again, we're talking about too much sugar curbs your immune system. Accelerating the aging process, both inside and out. Zapping your energy, you admit it. Sometimes your energy flags, mm -hmm. and so instead of addressing it, you go for more sugar. And that actually leads to more hunger because we know sugar is the least satisfying of all the substrates. When it comes to fat, proteins, and sugars, simple sugars, they make us just want to eat more. So you have to look at what are, what are ways to break the sugar addiction. This is such an important topic, literally. My last book, I, this is one of my biggest emphasis. In The Doctor's Diet, I have an entire chapter on breaking the sugar addiction. And there are a few really important steps. And the first step, of course, is figuring out that you're addicted to sugar. And for most people, there's a quiz you can take and go through it and the light bulb goes off. And we'll have that quiz on our website. But I don't even feel like we need to go through that with you, Dr. Berman, because you have already told me that you crave sugar sometimes when you're not hungry. You even have stashes, sometimes hidden. Totally hidden. And you, ha so all the things that are typical Bottle. of someone who is addicted to sugar. But the third step, be beyond identifying all the added sugars in your diet, it really is making the decision. That's what today is about. You, you have to, to quit an addiction, you have to make the decision. The most difficult decision a lot of us will ever make is to not allow sugar to rule your life. So our plan to deal with your cravings is we have to have alternative things for you to go to. Okay, so oh what we're going to do is we're going to wean you off of sugar. Wean me. Okay, and so, so I can one a day. No. <laughs> no. No. Because that's like saying as a, a heroin addict, I can, you know, shoot heroin once a day as opposed to four times a day. You know, you're always going to be addicted to sugar. Mm -hmm. And so we need to look at alternatives. In fact, you know, it's tough here on stage, but why don't after the show, you and I sit down and let's put a plan together? Because the plan has to be different for everyone. And we gotta figure out what's gonna work for you. Because if it's not gonna work for you, then it's a worthless plan. And you've gotta start thinking about some alternative, lower sugar alternatives that will work for you. All right, we're, we're hiding these drinks now because it's time to move on. And I know this is like showing you, <laughs> this is tough for you. Look, sugar addiction, there's a reason why 60 plus percent of Americans are struggling with their weight, struggling with all the type, diabetes is on the rise. It's because we're, so many of us are addicted to this seemingly innocuous substance. Why? Because back in, let's face it, way back in time, there wasn't a ton of sugar. We're meant to crave it. So we're gonna put a plan of action in place. And are you all with us? We're gonna follow Dr. Jen's progress through the rest of the season. And I know you can do it. Yes, okay. So, let's move on from sugar I would to... like to feel better. I would like to sleep. I would like to not feel the lightheadedness of anxiety and all that other stuff that I, I do. I bet you they're, they're all tied I together. I, I, bet, I bet you too much sugar is keeping you up. I bet.